I know I haven't done one of these videos in a while, besides if you count my record collection as being an obscure form of media, which it kind of is. But today, I've actually got something more. I've got another... I've got yet another form of obscure media. This is the Kodak Disc 4100. What the heck is this? I don't know, but it uses discs instead of film. At least, yeah, it's supposed to. Now, what is this? I mean, surely they couldn't have developed the, the technology to use discs, right? And you, you are absolutely correct. This did not run on compact D DVDs or CDs like the like the mini DVDs that you'll see some places. This actually has another kind of media, a floppy disk. Mm, no, kind of. Let's just open up and we'll see. After all, I'm pretty sure that this film won't go bad considering that it is just a floppy disk. As you can see, the film is completely black, but that's because it's actually a floppy disk. It's actually fine, but as you can see, it is a floppy disk, and it, 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 it's actually relatively small. How did they do this? Well, truth be told, this was in the era of the floppy disk. Not in the modern, more modern era of the disc-based cameras that they came out with. As you see, they tried doing this again in late 1990s to early 2000s, where there would be very small discs or compact discs inside a camera, and it would take the picture on a disc. You could then put these discs into your cam into your computer and see your photos and then delete the photos off of the disc, save them to your computer or hard drive or two megabyte or two gigabyte um uh memory card that went to your computer and then you could take more photos. Or at least that's how the C D one is supposed to work. But this I have no idea how this works. I'm pretty sure there's an adapter, because if not, then you would have to go to an actual shop and hope to God that they had the special thing to actually develop the photos, or print the photos that were on the floppy disk. Now, yes, there were other cameras that used this kind of stuff. Um, in fact, Tech One has a very uh, detailed video on one of them. 